Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace, love, and light, family. I am Sisdi. I'm a spiritualist and a naturalist, and I believe I'm an humble messenger and oracle of the Most High Yacht. Sometimes I come to y'all with messages of encouragement. Sometimes those messages are just general information or food for thought, and sometimes they're correction or forewarning. And today's message is encouragement. But once y'all watch it, then you drop down in the comments, and y'all let me know be in the comments what y'all think it is okay i'm outside enjoying nature having a little bit of a fresh breeze as usual as i am waiting so before i go any further in this video let me stop and say welcome 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 to all of the first time viewers of the channel i hope and pray to the most high that you guys enjoy the message that i'm going to bring to you on today okay so i think you guys will love this one i think it's gonna be real juicy so y'all hold on to your bootstraps okay so um without further ado this is in regards to a comment that I had real world, right? Talking about relationships. Since D has the king, it has been a very long time that I've been in the dating world, but I understand and I can reminisce on them old struggles and I know them well, right? So I wanted to actually kind of address this and I'm gonna put a spin on it like I generally always do, all right, y'all? So y'all just hold tight with me when I go here, okay? This is specifically speaking to my kingdom-minded men and my righteous kingdom-minded women. This video in particular is for you guys on today, okay? So how to, the message title, how to get a high value man or how to get a high value woman. Let me readdress that. Let me put that in correct order. For you kingdom minded men first, how to get a, a righteous woman and you women, how to get a Yah fearing man. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So first of all, let's tackle this notion that everybody on this planet is going to get a high value person, man, woman, whatever, right? We know that's not the case. And second of all, the other no notion that kind of bothers and disturbs me is this world that we live in, New Babylon is what I'm speaking of, has distorted what value actually means, right? Generally, when you hear people talking about, oh, I want a high value man, go dig women. Yes, I said it with my whole chest, my full chest. I said it. First of all, they're generally always or generally always speaking in a monetar monetary or financial manner or aspect. Y'all, that's not just the only meaning of value or high value, okay? So let's get that straight. Let me address that for the spiritual community. Y'all, we are taught to, or we are told in the Holy Scriptures that we are supposed to see through the eyes of Christ. We don't see things the way, the way this wicked world sees things, right? So we are supposed to see things the way the Most High Yah tells us to see them. And we see value differently than this world that is secular for the most part sees things. We don't look at just someone's exterior, oh, he's too short, she's too tall, he's shaped crazy, she's shaped crazy. He doesn't make enough. She doesn't make enough. I don't like that she has this or that flaw about her. I don't like that he does this or that. We're, we're not to do things like that. And I hope this is making sense. I hope that you guys are going with me. So, y'all, we have to take the idea of high value and flip that thing upside down and do it the way the most high says it so that we can put our families back in order. Okay, so you men, let me let me start by addressing you all first, right? It is so integrally important that you guys choose a righteous kingdom minded woman who is going to learn how to have your mind. She's not going to be making your home dysfunctional or unpeaceful or unpleasant and your kids are not going to be out of order because she's out of order. We don't want that. But that all begins with testing trying and proving her first getting to really know her taking that extra time to have communications with her that's why i am a big advocate of delaying any kind of physical contact but zero i know 
I know. Yeah, calm down. Just uh, y'all, hold on. Shish. <laughs> I'm not saying forever, but I'm saying in those primary stages, there should be no physical contact, y'all. You shouldn't be slobbing nobody down, and you all up under people's clothes and touching their feel. No, don't do that thing, y'all. Don't do it, because it's only going to lead you to trouble. And truth be told, if we're going according to the Holy Scriptures, once you go that far, that person is your wife. That other man, that man is your husband. Because once you know them, know them, once you biblically lay with them, if we was in ancient time, okay, boom, there you go. That's your spouse, whether you want them or not. Come to find out, once you done like, bumped uglies, that man is not well suited for you and you are not well suited for him. Just not. So y'all fellas, it is so important to go beyond the exterior. It is more important for you to begin to tap into who that woman is so that you can really get to know the heart of that woman to see if you guys really are truly compatible and that you can live a life and build a family with that woman, right? A lot of you men, I know y'all are physical. I know you guys are visual. I know you guys are hardwired to be instinctual to some degree and go after the prey. I get all of that. Since D has sons, my brother was my best friend. I have a whole bunch of platonic male friends previously. So I get all of that. However, comma, because we're in a very hypersexualized age in our society where everything is so exterior driven wherein BBLs are the thing and the umbrella eyelashes and does she have two foot long nails and are her feet done and is she wearing red bottoms and that is not of any importance y'all can she help balance your finances can she make your house be a home is she going to be a good mother to your children? It would be very, very sad for you brothers to marry a woman and then you find out two kids in, she slow as a, a molasses dripping winter in the Midwest where it's 30 degrees below outside. <laughs> that would not be cute because then your little kid is going to be kind of slow. That would not be cute. Okay, so enough on the brothers. Sisters, the same for us. I know that we have challenges in finding our compatible sides, but it is possible. We women need to come out of that harder exterior. Sissy is, I know, just, I'm a harder exterior woman. <laughs> I, I own that thing. But yes, I own it. But that's because I had to be a business professional in a realm of all men so I had to be kind of hard but now I'm learning that's not what men want ladies find your divine feminine back it's okay to be fancy for your husband if you like to dress up and natural is not your thing like it is for sissy and you love to be dolled up and hair curly and eyelashes and makeup and full face beat and high heels and if, if that is what your husband likes do that that's fine whatever your king needs from you do that if you are trying to find your king then you go look for things outside of oh his body is so sexy don't do that thing sis because sexy body will fool, will fool around and mess you all the way up because a lot of the sexy bodies up here and up here uh, uh, up here and right here is not necessarily what you need. I hope that makes sense to y'all. Look, that D-Ride might be nice, and yes, I know I'm going to be kind of graphic, but that D-Ride might be kind of nice, but then you find out after you've had the D-Ride, it was nice, but you have nothing else in common with that man. Nothing. You're looking at him like, okay, now what? What, what now? We don't like the same kind of music. We don't like to go to the same kind of places. We don't like to do the same kind of things. Just no compatibility compatibility at all. He can't hold a conversation. He doesn't like to communicate. He doesn't have any ambition, drive, motivation, 
that you have. So how are you guys going to build? But now you done soul tied yourself to this man. Y'all y'all going with me still here, ladies? So we have to yet again re-examine this notion of high value man and high value woman. Because the world has lied to us about many, many, many things. And this is just another one that this new crooked world, wicked old evil old world, just another thing that the world has lied to us about. Y'all, we got to stop. We, we got to stop. Either we're going to be kingdom minded or we're going to be worldly minded. You got to pick one, but we can't be both. Got to choose. <laughs> I know. So I hope that made sense how to find you a high value man, according to the most high, or how to find you. Nope. Let me go back and do it right. How to find you a high value woman according to the Most High, and how, how to find you a high-value man, according to the Most High. I hope these steps were helpful. I hope that they made sense. Of course, you guys know I always leave my email address. I told you guys that I was going to a new platform on social media that you guys could reach out to me. I am launching a clubhouse room so that you guys can come in and dialogue more. We can talk about topics. We don't have to be as censored. I can actually go into the scriptures a little bit more and expound on them. It will be adult geared and oriented information. It will not be for little people. So yes, there might be some deeper topics. Be prepared if you guys are sensitive folks and every little thing ruffles your feathers, <laughs> then sis, these clubhouse room might not be for you because we're going to hard hit. It's going to be holistic. It's going to cover every facet and area of your everyday life we're gonna nothing broken nothing missing we're going to hit everything relationships and money and nuclear families the alphabet gang um the triple jump jab uh finances economics mental health uh housing resources you name it we're gonna tackle it oh we're gonna start off with the willie lynch letters or shortly thereafter. So if you guys don't have a copy of the Willie Lynch Letters and you would like to join Sis D in her clubhouse room, I'll give you more information about that. Go get the Willie Lynch Letters. If you need a bookstore, I have a partner bookstore that I can make sure you get a good copy with a discount, okay? So hit me up, drop me an email if you want to get a copy of the Willie Lynch Letters, okay? With all of that being said, I love y'all. I love y'all with my whole entire heart. Let me close out by saying to my delightful family, to the Vibe Up Y'all tribe, I see y'all. I see y'all. May the Most High bless you all and keep you all as we go into the furtherance of today and into the remainder of our week. And I think I'm going to close on out like I generally always do by saying this is the Vibe Up Y'all, Vibe Up Sis D and a male.